removing and replacing parts. HP Compaq 8200 Elite Ultra Slim Desktop Business PC. Tools you need. To remove and replace parts in this device, you should ideally have the following tools on hand. An anti-static wrist strap. A Phillips screwdriver. A flat bladed pry tool. Long nose pliers. A flathead screwdriver a torque screwdriver, a triangular pry tool, a pair of tweezers, thermal grease and cleaning alcohol, a suction cup, a cuticle stick, a sim tray eject pin. How to replace the access panel. Removal. Loosen the captive thumb screw that secures the access panel. Slide the panel back and lift it away from the chassis. Replacement Place the access panel on the chassis about half an inch behind the front bezel. Slide the panel forward until it is flush with the front bezel. Tighten the thumb screw. How to replace the front bezel. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Lift the three release tabs on the top of the front bezel to partially disengage it from the chassis. Rotate the front bezel away from the chassis and remove it. Replacement. Insert the three hooks on the bottom of the bezel into the slots on the chassis. Rotate the front bezel onto the chassis until it snaps into place. How to replace the optical drive. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Disconnect the optical drive cable from the back of the optical drive. Push the green release latch and slide the drive out of the drive bracket. Replacement Slide the optical drive into the drive bracket until it locks into place. Connect the optical drive cable to the drive. How to replace the hard drive Before you begin, Remove the access panel and optical drive. Removal. Press the release latch on the hard drive bracket handle. Pull the handle up to disengage the drive from the connector on the system board. Lift the drive out of the drive bay. Remove the four Torx 15 screws that secure the hard drive to the bracket. Slide the hard drive out of the bracket. Replacement. Slide the hard drive into the hard drive bracket. Replace the four Torx 15 screws that secure the hard drive to the bracket. Align the four screws on the drive with the guide slots and lower the drive into the drive bay. Push the drive bracket handle down, sliding the drive into the connector until it is firmly seated and the release latch locks into place. How to replace the optical drive bracket. Before you begin, remove the access panel, optical drive, and hard drive. Removal. Remove the two Torx 15 screws that secure the optical drive bracket to the chassis. Pull up on the release tab. Slide the optical drive bracket toward the back of the chassis. Lift the bracket out of the chassis. Replacement Align the guide holes in the bracket with the standoffs on the system board. Press down on the optical drive bracket and slide it forward until it locks into place. Replace the two Torx 15 screws that secure the optical drive bracket to the chassis. How to replace the TV tuner card. Before you begin, 
remove the access panel, optical drive, hard drive, and optical drive bracket. Removal. Carefully disconnect the antenna cable from the TV tuner card with a small needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the two Torx 5 screws that secure the TV tuner card to the system board and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the card by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement Match the notch on the TV tuner card with a key in the socket. Grasp the card by the edges and push to replace it. Press the card down and replace the two Torx 5 screws that secure the card to the system board. Reconnect the antenna cable to the card. How to replace the hood sensor. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Disconnect the hood sensor cable from the system board. Slide the hood sensor out of the slot on the chassis rail and remove it. Replacement. Slide the hood sensor into the slot on the chassis rail. Connect the hood sensor cable to the system board. How to replace the graphics card. Before you begin, remove the access panel, optical drive, hard drive, and optical drive bracket. Move the hood sensor switch and cable away from the graphics card. Removal. Remove the two Torx 8 screws that secure the graphics card to the system board and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the card by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement Match the notch on the graphics card with the key in the socket. Grasp the card by the edges and push to replace it. Press the card down and replace the two Torx 8 screws that secure the card to the chassis. How to replace the TV tuner antenna cable. Before you begin, remove the access panel, optical drive, hard drive, optical drive bracket, hood sensor, and graphics card. Removal. Carefully disconnect the antenna cable from the TV tuner card with a small needle nose pliers or tweezers. Pull the antenna cable out of the clips on the chassis wall and away from the rear chassis fan. Remove the 12 mm hex nut and washer from the antenna connector. Pull the connector out of the opening in the rear chassis wall and remove the antenna cable. Replacement Place the antenna connector into the opening in the rear chassis wall. Replace the 12 mm washer and hex nut onto the antenna connector. Route the antenna cable under the rear chassis fan and through the clips on the chassis wall. Reconnect the antenna cable to the TV tuner card. How to replace the SD card reader. Before you begin, remove the access panel and front bezel. Removal. Disconnect the SD card reader cable from the system board. Remove the Torx 15 screw that secures the SD card reader to the front of the chassis. Pull the SD card reader and cable out through the front of the chassis. Replacement Thread the SD card reader cable into the chassis. Replace the Torx 15 screw that secures the SD card reader to the front of the chassis. Connect the SD card reader cable to the system board. How to replace the front I.O. bracket. Before you begin, remove the access panel and front bezel. Removal. Remove the Torx 15 screw that secures the front I.O. bracket to the front of the chassis. 
Press the release latch on the right side of the bracket. Rotate the bracket away from the chassis and remove it. Replacement. Insert the two tabs on the left side of the bracket into the slots in the chassis. Rotate the bracket against the chassis and press until it snaps into place. Replace the Torx 15 screw that secures the bracket to the front of the chassis. How to replace the RTC battery. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Pull the RTC battery back and lift it out of the receptacle. Replacement. Push the battery into the receptacle with the plus sign facing the inside of the chassis. How to replace the memory. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Push both arms out simultaneously to release the memory module to the spring tension position. Pull the memory module out of the socket. Replacement. Match the notch on the memory module with a key on the memory socket. Push the module firmly into the socket. Press the memory module down to latch the arms. How to replace the speaker. Before you begin, remove the access panel, front bezel, optical drive, hard drive, and optical drive bracket. Removal. Disconnect the speaker cable from the system board. Remove the two Torx 8 screws that secure the speaker to the front of the chassis. Remove the speaker from the chassis. Replacement. Position the speaker against the chassis and align the screw holes. Replace the two Torx 8 screws that secure the speaker to the front of the chassis. Connect the speaker cable to the system board. How to replace the front fan assembly. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Lift the front fan assembly out of the chassis. Disconnect the fan cable from the system board and remove the assembly. Replacement. Connect the fan cable to the system board. Align the fan duct with a heat sink and lower the fan assembly into place. How to replace the heat sink. Before you begin, remove the access panel, optical drive, hard drive, optical drive bracket, and front fan assembly. Removal. Loosen the four captive Torx 15 retaining screws by partially unscrewing one pair of diagonally opposite screws and then partially unscrewing the remaining pair until all the screws are loose. Gently twist the heat sink off of the processor and remove it from the chassis. Do not use excessive force to pull it off. Replacement Note, the thermal grease between the processor and heat sink should be replaced every time the heat sink is removed. Carefully remove the old thermal grease from the heat sink and processor by scraping it off with a straight plastic edge and alcohol swab. Then use an alcohol swab to remove any thermal grease residue. Use a thermal grease applicator to apply the proper amount of grease along one edge of the processor. Then use the edge of a clean piece of paper to spread the thermal grease evenly over the top of the processor. Position the heat sink on top of the processor and align the four retaining screws with the holes on the system board. Tighten the four retaining screws by partially tightening one pair of diagonally opposite screws and then tightening the remaining pair. How to replace the processor. Before you begin, remove the access panel, optical drive, hard drive, 
optical drive bracket, front fan assembly, and heat sink. Removal Important, before removing the processor, take special note of the gold triangle on one corner and the notches on two sides of the processor. The processor must be installed in the same orientation in which it was removed or it may be destroyed. Push down and out on the processor load plate lever and then raise the lever and processor load plate until it is fully open. Lift the processor to remove. Important, always handle the processor by its sides. Do not touch the contacts on the underside of the processor or inside the processor socket. Damaging the contacts may result in processor failure. Replacement Align the processor in the correct orientation and carefully place it straight down into the socket. Lower the load plate over the processor socket. Lower the load plate lever and place it securely into its latch. Important! After installing the new processor, be sure to update the BIOS to the latest revision or to the version requested by the customer. How to replace the system board Before you begin, remove the access panel, front bezel, optical drive, hard drive, optical drive bracket, optical drive cable, SD card reader, front I.O. bracket, TV tuner card, hood sensor, graphics card, memory, front fan assembly, heat sink, and processor. Removal Disconnect all cables from the system board, noting their location for reinstallation. Remove the three Torx 15 screws that secure the system board to the chassis. Slide the system board toward the front of the chassis to disengage it from the rear I.O. panel and standoffs. Rotate the board upward and lift it out of the chassis. Replacement Lower the board into the chassis and over the standoffs. Push the board toward the rear I.O. panel so that the standoffs are completely engaged with the cutouts on the board and the heat sink screw holes align with the mounting holes in the chassis. Replace the three Torx 15 screws that secure the system board to the chassis. Connect all cables to the system board. Important! After installing a new system board, be sure to update the BIOS to the latest revision or to the version requested by the customer. How to replace the rear fan Before you begin, remove the access panel, front bezel, optical drive, hard drive, optical drive bracket, optical drive cable, SD card reader, front I.O. bracket, hood sensor, graphics card, front fan assembly, heat sink, and system board. Removal Remove the four Phillips head screws that secure the fan to the back of the chassis. Pull the fan out from under the guide tabs on the chassis rail and remove. Replacement Position the fan against the chassis. Replace the four Phillips head screws that secure the fan to the back of the chassis. Find more helpful videos on our HP Support YouTube channel.